All right, there goes the setup right there. It'll take me a lot less uh, time once I get everything, or I get familiar with uh, putting the motor on, locking it in, connecting the battery, and uh, just getting everything together. For the most part, I think we have everything that we normally would have whenever I get on the kayak with the autopilot. Uh, minus a couple of rods, just because I don't have the additional rod holders. Uh, it is a very cramped fit back here. Um, the tank well is just a little bit smaller than the autopilot. And y'all are going to hear me reference the uh, autopilot 120 a lot because that's just what I've been fishing with for the past four years. It's such a spectacular platform, but now we have this fella and hopefully it's going to open up not new waters, but it will open up more water that I'm going to be able to fish because of speed, which is what the autopilot lacks. I don't know what to expect, so we want to make sure that we have that kill switch on us. All right. So four years in the making, back in 2019, Old Town invited me to Maine to test drive the autopilots the uh, Minn Kota 106 and then this one I don't know what they called it back then but this basically was the third one and now they finally came out with the drive after all the testing and uh, everything seems to be in order it looks really nice I've got a speed app on my phone So a nice cruising pace. We're doing about four miles an hour. And that's in manual mode right there. Man, they hate it. <laughs> to dirty. You slumming it in that Hobie. Got my Rolls Royce. I have not tried the electronic assist yet. No. no. Right now it's, man, man, I am tired. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Woo. This new jacket, I gotta adjust it. Is that 13 foot? Yeah, 13 too. No, it's lighter than the autopilot. Yeah. We could tell because we got to lift Christian's kayak and then mine, and it's way lighter. The drive is heavy, 33.8 pounds, roughly 34. I was watching some videos on it the other day. Yeah. Yeah. 36 volts, man. Yeah. So I guess. Are you just having a regular speed? Yep. I'm struggling to keep up with you. Really? Yes. <clears throat> like I'm going like you know a little bit faster than my normal pace, and I'm like you're doing normal pace, but you're you're going. Yeah, this is a cruising speed minus the assist. So, level one. I don't feel anything. It just feels like I'm still pedaling it myself. I can feel the resistance. Level two. Yeah, it still feels the same. Yeah. How many levels does it have? Five? Five. Yeah. <clears throat> I still feel the resistance, but I see me pulling away from you. Yeah. I got a speed app. Okay, so here we go. Pedaling super easy. Uh, actually, 
I'm pedaling less. It... Yeah, the rotation amount that you're doing in comparison to me, it's a lot less. Let me do level four. Still three miles an hour. I'm barely pushing the, uh, the pedal drive. All right, here we go. Let's put some biscuits and gravy on it. Oh, shoot. That thing just kicked in, bro. It's five. It's very weird. It's like going uphill on a 10 speed bike. Like, seriously. It just feels weird. No other way to explain it. All right, let's help the kayak out. And I'm gonna pedal the way I normally would at a cruising pace, but it's, it's just very weird because it's like there's no resistance to the pedals at all. Easily doing four and a half miles an hour. Yeah, four and a half miles an hour. So let's slow down and we'll let Rennell catch back up. I'll put it on pedal assist three. So there we have it. Let's uh, actually see what the conditions are doing right now. So we're at high tide. It's very screwy at high tide. I'd imagine we have an incoming right now. So that's kind of in our favor, but we have a headwind from the north northeast which is directly in front of us coming at us now, do you want to go through each level one two three to five or do you just want to just do five I just do five because the other like one through four well no now i can feel it like actually kicking in once you start barely moving them pedals right. it's like it helps to usher it imagine when you were a kid and you were being held by the hand and your parents start walking and they're like literally pulling you that's what it feels like whenever you're ready brother ready yeah Yeah, it's really not much. Just barreling through the water. Let me know when you're tired. Yeah, you could probably do this all day. Little to no output, because the motor is doing the bulk of the work. And that outback, make no mistake, that outback is fast. Especially if you were to throw a competitive motor on it. The three offerings are Torquedo is the long-standing champion, then you got Newport, and then Bixby at the the lower end of the scale. Yeah. I could easily do this all day. And with the pedal assist, you're not using all your... Your energy, yeah. I'm very, like, I'm really not that winded. Whereas before, in the Predator PDL, uh -huh. I've done this trip, and man, I would get tired. The minute you stop pedaling, the prop is instant drag. Whereas on yours, you could glide through because of the fins. Which is why I didn't stay with the Predator PDL. But this right here, I would never have to stop pedaling. Kind of made a good point about the price that like, well, if you're interested in a solar motor, you can get a Hobie by the time you get a big speed or whatever, or yeah. torpedo, it's gonna be the same price. That's what I was looking up last night. 
So I was sitting there like, what are the competitor kayaks? The, the Pro Angler, the Outback, the Bonafide PWR, um, the Titan X, so, and the new Canoe Unlimited. So those are all kayaks that will compete against something like this because people like to throw motors on them. But depending on the motor that you choose, the, okay, so the, the Torquedo comes with everything you need. The bracket, the motor, the battery, all the hardware to integrate it into your rudder. But that thing is 20, like 2,800 and something. And you throw that to that, you're spending the same amount. But now you got clothes lines that you can hang and dry your clothes back there versus something that's fully integrated. The, the other thing, setting up that with a new port, a Bixby or a Torquedo, your setup time, you're gonna be at the launch a lot longer than I am. Now, if you have a trailer, maybe you can leave it all set up, I don't know. So there's like pros and cons to, to everything. And it may not be the solution for everybody, but I guarantee there's a select few out there that, hey, time matters. And so this will be the kayak for you, especially when money's on the line. Tournament fishermen, that's the first people that come into mind. Maybe guides. Yeah, we'll see. We'll put her through the ringer. Yeah. I'm just amazed at how they did it with the same low end, lower end of the PDL drive. It's all the same except for this box. If you're here because of the EPDL from Old Town, welcome to MDLR Fishing. Thank you for tagging along on this adventure. I hope to show each and every one of y'all that are interested in doing a similar style of fishing, very shallow water stuff, and when the temperatures are right, uh, some open water stuff by way of our jetty systems in the Texas, along the Texas coast and um, show y'all what it is that this kayak can do. I do not baby or keep any of my gear in showroom condition. Uh, there's plenty of other channels out there that will do that. And if you want to see how long your product will last, if you baby it, uh, I mean, sky's the limit. It'll probably last forever. And uh, yeah, so welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining me. And uh, let's see if we can catch some fish today. So what I want to do is uh, stand up. We're gonna lock the rudder in place again. All right, let's get the big push pole and now we'll stand up and try to sight cast these guys. Hopefully we'll be able to see something. There we go. Oh yes. Oh yes.
Oh, no, come on. There we go. Whew. Boy, we got some big brutes today. Oh my gosh, yes. I am, I am grateful. I am so grateful for this fella. I mean, look at the swells that are coming in. I mean, the winds are just thrashing us. And this little guy, I guess there's nothing little about him. Let's capture our footage. Please, GoPro, do me a solid, man. This camera has just been absolutely ridiculous, so I've got to plead with it. Oh, it captured the footage. Look at that. Just came off the hook. These are some pretty stout hooks from TT Lures, and the reds are so big today that they're actually bending the hook out. But they don't want your regular size lures, so I have no choice but to, to use the small downsized stuff. Had to take the forward camera off because the, the wind, anytime I stop, the swells are literally crashing into the kayak. I am keeping fish today, but in light of this being the maiden voyage for this kayak, I'm gonna do this fish a solid. I'm gonna release him back into the water to fight another day. It's just how much I appreciate this fella. Oh, I was really starting to get worried because of the conditions and how bad it is, but that is a solid keeper redfish little mid slot donkey thank you so much bro y'all this trip ends up being a success I'm gonna continue fishing but I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to stay out here uh, the winds are very high I'm about to pull the phone out to see what they've uh, turned into because it's like very, very sporty conditions. So the winds are 19.05 knots east northeast. That is very high. I mean, we're probably 21 sustained, 22 sustained, somewhere around there. And the gusts are even higher. I mean, these are some really sporty conditions. We hooked into two, landed one. The other fish was a lot bigger than the one we just caught, but it's a four inch jerk minnow junior, the bait fish color from Kalen. Kalen's. Got a couple more packages of these. I love using these flukes. This is notoriously the toughest month of the year for me to fish January we're one week deep into it and oh man it is so tough the setup that we're using is a seven foot light power rod from Boy or old 18 outfitters it's the buoyancy series and we got a 500 series shimano spinning reel with some veravas braid and a cigar fluorocarbon leader i'll tell you what if we're lucky enough to catch another fish that's going to be truly amazing. You ain't going to believe this, but back to back casts, there's another fish on the line. Literally just tried to capture my footage. Gosh, we almost flipped. This is 
is another big one right here. need to get my rudder up. There we go. Just try to tire him out. Dude, get out of the kayak. Oh, look at that, another solid. <laughs> I cannot make this up. I mean, we went from zero to hero in the matter of minutes like literally just mi not even minutes seconds it was the very next cast i captured the footage and then we hooked up while i was waiting for this gopro to respond and capture the footage and then have to hit record again solid redfish right there there we are Ugh. redfish number two on the day that's a solid solid fella i think i'm gonna let every fish go today oh my gosh i did bring the bag to keep something but i mean given the conditions being very tough and uh i want to continue fishing i'm gonna let all these guys go i'm gonna be a really good sport about it oh, look at that Let's get a photo. All right, buddy, we'll see you later. He said, don't wait for him. He was still gonna fish. Come on, baby. Let's see if we can go inside Christian's little prop scar. Maybe not. Ah. <sighs> It's unfortunate. We almost got through. Almost deep enough, but not quite. That's what makes the autopilot so special. Christian is still steady cruising with that trolling motor because all it needs is six inches of water and then full. I'm reading full on my battery. My battery is still reading full. My battery, it's still reading that it's full. All right. Whew, y'all, I am level anything, level four and below. That's for all you fitness geeks and muscle heads for the birds I mean it works it helps you but this is where it's at level five come on kick in girl there we go holy cow Whew. I'm gonna do a speed test real quick son and you're on or you're on 10 full speed Oh my gosh, the wind's at my back. It is an incoming tide. 
but with that wind at my back we're five and a half miles an hour and I'm I'm barely I'm barely even pushing it there's no resistance against the pedals oh man I could get used to this right here and if we had the tide in our favor as well we probably would be able to achieve seven miles an hour I'm just throwing it out there we won't know until we actually come across that day but yeah I can get used to this pedals are barely moving I feel little to no resistance whatsoever so uh, yeah all right I'm gonna stop I'm gonna let my son catch back up to me and well the maiden voyage is successful I am grateful for the two catches that we were able to make happen sorry about the whole GoPro thing um, I tend to get animated when it comes to GoPro but let's make this about the EPDL there's gonna be a lot more content coming as I uh, put her through the paces and continuously come out and fish in different situations there's a lot of open water testing that I would love to do so uh, stick around hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it until next time tight lines y'all